The plan is the same as always, a physical brand of football led by the ground game and that strong offensive line. Don't make any key mistakes. And it's been a strategy that has worked for the Bucks since their week one loss to Easton, 12 straight wins, and they are now in the championship. But you see the film here on Milford Mill. They have a very quick athletic running back, a huge offensive line up front, and they can put up a ton of points in a hurry, but still, Ken Island isn't changing a thing, and they will still play their style of football coming up tomorrow afternoon. We consider every team to be gray, and they have no name, and they're just a number to us. And if you start getting into their record and looking at their stats and looking how big and tall they are, well, then people start maybe thinking they need to change who they are and how they act and how they perform. So we don't do that ever. They're Team 14, they're gray, and we're going to do what we do. We just have to play our game that we've been playing it every single week and I think if we play our game like we have been I think we're gonna we're gonna be fine but if we have those mistakes where we you know fumble have a bad snap or whatever on the 10 10 yard line coming in I think they can do some damage you know they can they can put the hammer in the nail and uh, I just think that we just got to play our game now we went out and got some perspective on the team that Ken Island will be facing tomorrow Decatur held a one point lead in the final minute against Milford Mill on Friday but came up just short. The Seahawks were the only team that gave the Millers a run for their money this season. The only team to come within one score of winning. So we asked Decatur head coach Jake Coleman, the only coach who has faced both Milford Mill and Ken Island this season, about what the Bucks will need to do to take the win. Ken Island beat us up when we played. Yeah. Okay. We felt like we could beat Milford Mill. You know, I hope Ken Allen goes out there and plays smash mouth and controls the clock. And if Ken Allen brings his A game, I think they can win. Uh, but it's going to be tough because Milford Mill is very, very talented. So I don't know how that game goes, but I'm not going to ever pick against Ken Allen uh, because they kicked the crap out of us. And, and I felt like we, we had Milford Mill for, for a second.